But I want to just say, I've got a brilliant topic this morning. I want to deal with the topic. You are on his mind. You are on God's mind. And this is so, so important. So many of us think that we just serve God and we are just some odd thing somewhere down there sometimes. I want to tell you that's not the case at all. Psalm 139 verse 17 says this. How precious also are your thoughts to me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. How great are the thoughts of God towards you as an individual. I want to say this. We need to understand that God is thinking about you. His thoughts, his focus is always being around you. You see, the reason that he created the earth and everything around it was that he wanted to create a being that could choose him out of choice. Remember, up until now, the entire creation only chose him because they were created and they saw him and they did no alternative other than to worship him. And then Satan decided, well, my choice is to go against you. And so, remember this. God says, I want somebody who's going to serve me, who's going to choose me, without even seeing my full glory and my full splendor. And he created man. And God kept his focus and keeps his focus on you and I. Satan's focus is not on you and I. Satan's focus is to destroy anything that God builds. Bible says the thief comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. His focus is to destroy what God does, which includes humans. Because he knows how important we are. We are the bride of Christ. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about the Christians now. Every human being has been created to be the bride of Christ. And Satan is going to try and destroy that. And so he's going to do everything in his power to come and steal what God has done and created. So saints, I want you to understand this. <clears throat> God is busy with something. And God loves us. And God is going to keep on thinking about us, focusing on us, trying to get us to the best place that we can be on this earth. And to think that the God who created everything is thinking about me. He's thinking about you. His thoughts are, the Bible says, I love the way it says this. Listen to this. How great is the sum of the thoughts of God towards you. How great is the sum of thoughts. All those thoughts that are focused directly at you. Because you are special. Because you are unique. And because you have a plan on this earth. Satan is not going to win. And Satan is not going to have his way. Because God is alive. And God loves you. So this morning when we come around the table. Let us celebrate the fact that God is thinking about us continually. But even greater than that, that he thought about us so much that he sent his son. That he made a solution for us. And Satan hates this. Satan hates the fact that there was a plan in motion. You see me that he did not see. But guess what? You and I, born again, going to heaven, has always been God's plan. So on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in the remnants of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in the remnants of me. The body of Christ was broken for your physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. So saints, right now as we come around the table, let us celebrate the price that was paid for you and I. But let us always remember that Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, always have you in mind. Always have you in mind.
Let's pray. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. And Lord, I thank you for the anointing of God that rests upon each one of us. Lord, I thank you for the price that was paid. But Lord, I thank you, God, that you think about us continually. Jesus, that you think about us continually. Holy Spirit, that you're busy with us continually. And Lord, I thank you right now that you are moving by your Spirit in a mighty way in our lives. And Lord, that we will not be the same again. But God, I thank you that you are going to do something miraculous in our lives. And Lord, I thank you for dying on the cross for us. But God, I thank you so much that you think of us every day. And Lord, that we are important. And Lord, that we have a mission. We have a calling. We have a destiny. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that as we take of the elements right now, that you'll make yourself so real to us. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, we release the dynamous power of God over our physical bodies. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that every single symptom of sickness be gone. And I thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine health and divine healing is ours. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, it's a glorious Monday. All right, I want to tell you it's a glorious time to be alive. I trust that everybody's got over the rugby and the weekend. All right, and I trust that you are ready to go and do what God has called you to do. Amen. All right, so where do we stand? Where are we going? I want to tell you God is busy with something amazing in this nation. We need to get our focus ready and we need to keep our prayer covering up. All right. I want to tell you that I'm going to be moving uh, some more around the nation now. So please get ready and just hear when I'm coming because I want to start destroying people, solidifying and getting them going. All right. Because I believe that there's some very big things coming and there's some exciting things that are happening. Amen. And I'm just going to just say, it was an exciting time yesterday. I was in a massive prayer meeting um, with Reverend Kenneth, and it was absolutely amazing. Let me tell you something. South Africa, there are prayer warriors out there praying. We are praying. We are seeking God. We are believing God. But I have a heart to have prayer warriors on every block in our nation, every block covered by one or two prayer warriors covering every little area. That's a strategy that we should have. All right? Nothing comes outside of prayer. Nothing comes outside of prayer. So don't even try it. So I want to say, we need to get a level of prayer raised in this nation. So I want to encourage you. All right. Tuesday nights, we are praying. At 730, please get onto those Zooms. That is where we pray together and it's all over the nation. I want that thing to build into the thousands. Because then we are truly creating a spiritual umbrella. As you come online, all you have to do is stand in agreement and you are representing your area, your suburb, where you are at. Saints, it's time that we mobilize the church and we actually start doing things to reclaim the spiritual territory in Jesus' name. Man, I get so fired up with this stuff. So I want you to know, I am going to be moving. And so when you hear I'm coming, please get ready. I am coming and I'm there to encourage, to build up, to get us going. Because I know God is busy with us. Amen. All right. So right now I want to pray. And remember it's Monday night. So tonight at 6.30 I'm with Bible College. I'll be back on. I'm back in full force. Tonight kings and priests get ready for that. I'll be doing the kings and priests tonight. And so please business guys. If you are a business owner. Please come and learn the principles. I'm teaching you the principles to be successful in business. All right. So come and join us tonight at 730. And then I also want to just say, <clears throat> we are praying and we will continue to pray for Israel. All right. As the battles rage there, we are going to trust God that Israel sort that thing out. Is Israel going to win? 100%. Yes. 
All right, Israel is not going to be damaged by this thing. They're going to sort this thing out and they're going to sort it out quick, hard and fast. Amen. And we are believing God that the collateral damage is not severe. All right, so let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, I thank you for your word. And Lord, I pray for Israel first of all. And I thank you, God, that we could pray for the peace in that area. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, I thank you that you are doing something in, uh, in Israel. And Father, I thank you that you're going to give them the strategy and the plans that they need. Lord, that they will fulfill this quickly and effectively in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for your blessing upon them. And I thank you, God, that they will not have any collateral damage. And Lord, the collateral damage on the, on, uh, the Palestinian side, Lord, will also be minimal in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that as they come with these aggressive onslaughts, Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name that the public will not be involved in these things. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray for the protection over the public. In Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, I pray, Lord, for our nation. Lord, I thank you right now that you'll raise up more and more prayer warriors. Lord, men and women who know their God and know how to declare and speak things into the atmosphere. Father, I pray that we'll be consistent in what you've called us to do. And Lord, that we will have a clear-cut vision and a clear-cut strategy and a clear-cut agenda. Lord, I thank you that we are going to restrict the evil work in this nation. And Father, we pray that you will raise up men and women. And Lord, that they'll stand strong and stand their ground in Jesus' name. And Father, right now, I pray for the economy of South Africa, the blessing of the economy. Father, I release the anointing of God over the economy. Thank you, God, that it will turn. And Lord, that our businesses will be blessed. And Lord, as we build altars, that we have supernatural deals, divine connections, supernatural contracts in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we release the power of God over each and every business. We thank you for your blessing and anointing upon them in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks, I want to tell you it's a glorious day and I want you to enjoy your week. Go out and do what God's calling you to do. Amen. Let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed. Battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want you to go out with might. I want you to go out with valor. I want you to go and do what Jesus Christ has called you to do. Remember this. We are responsible for the spiritual atmospheres over our cities and towns. And we can keep them clean and open in Jesus' name.